We have all heard of the dangers of elevated cholesterol, but were you aware that there is no direct evidence that elevated cholesterol causes heart disease? In fact, over half the people that die of heart attacks have normal cholesterol. If you were to ask the average person on the street or your conventional doctor if cholesterol is good for you or bad for you, what do you think the answer would be? With me today is Dr. David Sheraton to discuss the subject of the medical myth that cholesterol causes heart disease. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Sheraton. Quite welcome. Well, tell me, is cholesterol good for you or is it bad for you? Cholesterol is essential and plays a key role in maintaining good health. It's a building block for our sex and adrenal hormones. It's necessary for nerve and brain function because it's essential in the making of the myelin sheath that covers our nerves. It's used by the liver to produce bile, which is held in our gallbladders and used to help us digest fats in our diet. Cholesterol also provides the structure of our cell membranes, which allow nutrients, hormones, and waste products to be transported in and out of the cells. Well, if cholesterol is so essential for good health, why have the pharmaceutical companies, the food industry, and conventional medical doctors made cholesterol the bogeyman and the alleged cause of coronary artery disease? Unfortunately, that's the dogma of the day. Some people who have high levels of cholesterol later develop coronary artery disease. Because of this, many doctors conclude that elevated cholesterol causes coronary artery disease. This follows the Latin saying, proper hoc ergo post hoc, which means after it, therefore because of it. But you can't simply assume that because one thing follows another, the first thing actually caused the second thing to happen. That's a logical fallacy. Just because cholesterol elevation is correlated with coronary artery disease in some people doesn't mean that it causes coronary disease. Well, Dr. Sheridan, what makes you think that cholesterol does not cause coronary artery disease? Well, if high cholesterol caused coronary artery disease, we would see a consistent finding that people with the highest cholesterol levels had the highest amount of plaque in their coronary arteries and therefore the highest amount of coronary artery disease. In fact, the medical literature tells us just the opposite. Back in 1936, a study was published in a mainstream major medical journal finding no correlation between serum cholesterol levels and the amount of plaque in the coronary arteries. Later on, in 1961 and 1962, two other studies showed exactly the same thing. There was no correlation between the amount of plaque in the coronary vessels and serum cholesterol levels. Now, even later, in 1996, a government report to Congress showed that lowering cholesterol levels in patients did not increase survival. And then another study in 2003 followed plaque by way of heart scans, and they found that when you lowered cholesterol in patients using statin drugs, the plaque in the coronary arteries didn't decrease or stay the same. It actually continued to increase. And it's also uh, been shown that over half the people that have heart attacks have normal Cholesterol. Normal cholesterol as well as roughly half the stroke patients. So again, if there was a connection, you would expect to see higher cholesterol levels consistently associated with higher rates of coronary artery disease. You don't. You would expect to see lowering cholesterol associated with increased survival. You don't. And lastly, if there was a connection, you would expect to see lowering cholesterol to at least make the plaque stable in the coronary arteries, if not decrease it. However, you see the opposite. So that's three strikes, and honestly, I think the dogma of the day is just out. Cholesterol causing heart disease is a myth promoted by the pharmaceutical companies in the food industries, Absolutely. and I wonder why. Patents and money. Patents and money. Well, when something seems illogical, we always say follow the money trail. Well, if elevated cholesterol doesn't cause coronary artery disease, what does? Inflammation. Plaque in the coronary vessels is the result of chronic inflammation of the blood vessel wall. This chronic inflammation can be caused by uh, repeated infections, chemicals in our food, our water, our environment, heavy metals like lead and mercury, aluminum increases um, inflammation, pharmaceutical drugs do, low thyroid conditions, low testosterone, even hormonal imbalance in women. Estrogen dominance tends to make women hypothyroid, which again leads to a, a state of increased inflammation. 
the body develops one of two anti-inflammatory responses to heal the injury to the artery. First, repair with collagen, which requires proper amounts of vitamin C and D. Or repair can be done using fats in the blood, uh, including lipoproteins and cholesterol. Well, Dr. Sheridan, thanks so much for joining us today with your very informative comments and insight into the myth about cholesterol. You're quite welcome. Well, now that you know the myth behind cholesterol, Shelly Johnson, registered dietitian and physician's preference, will be joining us next to discuss six supplements that are extremely beneficial for optimal heart health. You're going to want to stay tuned to watch this.